What's up guys? Today we're going to be putting a big bore kit and fixing some oil leaks on the Z50 here. So I bought this uh, 1978 Z50 uh, a couple months ago. Um, it had been sitting in this old man's barn for about 15 years and um, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like when I bought it. But I uh, did a bunch of work to it, um, got some replacement parts for it, and and fixed it up. Um, it had basically been ridden hard for a long, long time by his grandkids. And uh, yeah, it needed quite a bit of work, but um, I was able to fix it up, and I didn't really do a whole lot to the engine other than replace the carburetor, and uh, the gas tank too was all rusted out. But um, other than that, the engine ran fine and uh, it just leaks a lot of oil. Um, it burns a little bit of oil, so I think the rings on the cylinder are gone. Um, so basically what I wanted to do is uh, I bought this big bore kit that brings it up to 88 cc's and uh, it comes with a replacement cylinder and that bumps up the cubic centimeters and that comes with a new piston and it comes with a uh, larger carburetor and uh, air filter and also this uh, intake manifold and at the same time I'm going to be fixing the oil leaks in the bottom of the engine uh, we got a gasket set here and also some bolts um, I'm going to get rid of these Phillips head bolts here because they're really hard to take out um, I have an impact driver to get those out and then uh, yeah once it's all buttoned up uh, should be good to go. Alright so the engine is off and I'm going to start stripping it down now. So it really helps to draw a diagram of where the bolts go in. Just, uh, I won't be using the same bolts, but I want to use the right length. So just draw a diagram like this, and start like this. Here's the old piston. Uh, you can see it's pretty dirty. And here's the new piston. It's quite a bit bigger. So that'll be cool. Alright, so I've got my new oil seals installed. Um, and I've got the gas the new gasket on the front of the engine here. 
and I've got a rag stuffed in this hole here uh, just to prevent um, you know these rings from flying in there when I'm trying to get them on the piston um, the retainer rings and these are the uh, rings on the piston so we've got from bottom to top thin wavy thin and then the two compression rings are flat black on the bottom and shiny black on top and we want to aim those different directions um, the gap aim the gap different directions So I've got the cylinder back on. Um, I really had to push pretty hard to get this thing on here. Make sure you lubricate the posts and all the surfaces with clean motor oil before putting this on. So that's on. I'm going to put the, the head on and uh, I've got it at top dead center. So here we go. gasket surface with brake cleaner and uh, putty knife and um, I'm gonna put this cover back on don't forget to clean your oil filter that is this little screen that pulls out right here so clean that I had some metal shavings in there so I just clean that out back in New carb is on and it looks pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna put this engine back on now. All right, everything is put back together. Let's uh, try to start it up.
8cc kit is uh, a win in my book. Um, the acceleration is really improved and the, I think it has a little higher top speed as well. Um, but I didn't really measure it. I think it's around 35 to 40. Um, but it's just whenever I get scared on these little tires, you know. When I first started it up, it was running really hot and lean and it was, it was knocking. So uh, the fuel additive helped a lot and uh, that got rid of the major knocking. And um, I also put a little bit bigger jet in the carburetor, so it's a 90, it was an 89 to start with. Um, the kit comes with a jetting kit so you can tune it. Um, and again, I'll put the links to all the products in the, um, in the description. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Um, please mention in the comments if you want uh, to see any other types of videos or uh, if I can do anything to improve this video and um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and, and like it. Thanks for watching Rat Insurance. Come again.